Hey everybody, welcome back to Free Fridays. This is Jason Ritchie coming at you from the inside of my van, my tour van, the Black Manther. You can see got a little bunk bed stacked up there with a cage and stuff. It's all decorated, smells a little bit like cigars from a month ago. Anyway, I'm up here in Indiana visiting in-laws. They're inside and I'm out here because Free Fridays have to happen no matter what. So, we're going to continue this week with something that I've talked about at length in a longer video called triangulating. But we're going to take three notes. Um, one, one week we took these three notes. And we did a bunch of stuff with them. So this is, again, it's not about, a, this isn't a less is more thing or, or music is the space in between the notes or the silence in between the notes. Those are great ideas and everything, but this is about focusing on rhythm. I'm going to take three notes. I'm going to discipline myself not to play any other notes than those three. And I'm going to see how that discipline influences me to come up with new rhythmic ideas, right? All kinds of stuff. Am I going to play this note quicker, longer, shorter, fatter? Am I going to tongue block it? Quarter note, eighth note, half note, whatever, anything, anything. It's about the discipline. Can I do it? Can I play the harmonica and only play those three notes? When I was, you know, first getting into this thing, I used to take duct tape and cover up the entire octave so that I couldn't play up there. So I had to do the very most with... <laughs> See, I could get everything I... I could out of those first four holes. Right? Anything I could get. So today we're going to look at the first three notes of the minor pentatonic scale or the blues scale. It's the same first three notes. It's two draw. Three draw, half step bent. Now let me give you a hint. Whether you're tongue blocking or you're lip pursing, the easiest way to get that note, because you're going to have to play it fast sometimes, is to kind of pull. Instead of using your tongue and pulling back like this, that could be a little tricky because you might overbend. Right? Instead of using your tongue, just use the back of your throat. You know, Cotton was a tongue blocker and he called it choking. Even without, you don't need vibrato, right? Just kind of slightly pulling that note a little bit down, flattening it to that flat third. That note we also call the minor third because it's the note that makes the key minor. And then we're going to go up to four blow. And those are the only three notes we're going to use. Now I tongue blocked the four blow, allowing the one blow in, the octave. So if you hear that in the lesson, you're wondering why it sounds different. That's why. So now I'm just going to explore some, like, basic options. Now, one of the ways you can tell if you're getting that three draw bent down is it'll sound like the song Spoonful by Willie Dixon that Howlin' Wolf made famous. <laughs> Now, if you don't bend it down enough, it's going to sound Ned Flanders. You hear all that darkness went away. It went from... To... Even that was a little flat. All right, so anyway, uh, you want to just try. Let's go up the first three. three. That's without the tongue block. One, two, three. And then down. Down. 
up. So what I'm doing is I'm triangul triangulating them. Right there, I went from the bend to the two draw to the four blow, back down to the bend. Change the phrasing. Could do it the other way. There's a, all these different combinations, right? I can go from the bend to the four blow to the two draw. If you're wondering what that growling sound is, that's me allowing a little bit of two and four to bleed into that bend. Now, there's a, a, a cool thing that happens. This is like beginning Pat Ramsey 101. The three blow is the same note as two draw. So if you're looking for air or a quickness about how you want to play these notes, you can go right from the four blow to the three blow, then go back down to your three draw bend and then to your two draw. Like, like Muddy Waters' uh, Manish Boy. Pat would use this a lot, like. All those three notes, two draw, three draw, half step, and four blow and then using the three blow, which is the same note as the two draw, to just kind of slide in. Blow, blow, draw, draw. Four blow, three blow, three draw, bend, two draw. Let me jam. So I'm just going to jam. I might use some triplets. Up and down. It's a great place to start. And then I might start taking them out of order. <laughs> There's a cool one. Two draw. Hit to, to the three draw bend, then hit tap the three draw bend again before going up to four blow. Right? And then down. Same thing, except down. It's very funky. Right? Okay, so let's start. Here's the groove. The whole band's bouncing up and down with me. One, two, one, two, three, four. Just start on two draw. I don't need all three notes. I can just hang here. Notice I'm not blowing out on two blow. Notice I'm not doing some stuff like this. I'm not doing that. I'm just staying on two draw. What's that noise I'm making? I'm counting. One, a two, a three, a four. One, a two, a three. Oops. I added another note. 
frequency, I need to practice too. Just those two notes. <laughs> Give myself the third, the four blow. If I warm up like that, and then I give myself one other note, but the one that I kept hitting by accident, right? Now I want to give it to myself. I took it away, and I learned I could do a lot of cool stuff I didn't even know. Just now I did. I came up with a couple of new things I'd never done before. Now I give myself that two-draw double bend. Give yourself that reward for that one extra note. <laughs> man so it's just like it's really just about like how do you play fast like you get used to playing just a little a couple of little things <laughs> And, 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 and because there's not a million notes you can just practice on getting those nice and clean <laughs> And then just change the rhythms. Just change them. Have fun with it. St remember, start on one note. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One. Then add. Do that for a little while, then give yourself one or two more notes. Shucks, give yourself five. <laughs> 
You know what? Don't do that. Stay there. Stay on the three for a little while. <laughs> You'll do better. I need to stay on the three for a little while. Love you all. Remember, remember, help me out. If you want to help me out, you want to keep these lessons coming free, you can sign up and become a Patreon patron. Patreon patrons, you guys are the best. You guys have changed my life, right? You're the reason I'm sitting in a van, right? They're the reason. If you're watching these videos... And, and you don't have any money and you, you don't, you can't even send me a dollar a month, 25 cents a lesson. Listen, I understand. I understand, right? I have months where I don't know on the 30th if I'm going to have a dollar in my bank account. If the, I seriously have months like that, right? So like, if you're one of them cats, just write down below. Thank you, Patreon patrons. You're helping me out. Because you're the ones keeping Jason's lessons coming every single Friday, no matter what. And I appreciate and I love you. Remember, Blue Moon, harmonicas, and Honer, harmonicas. That's what I play. I get Tom Halchek to put these fancy combs and covers on here. Does a little tweaking for me. He'll do it for you. Lone Wolf Blues Company. That's the pedals I use. That's the microphone I use, right? I hang out with Lone Wolf up in Ponchatoula, Louisiana. They've been with me forever. They've been taking care of Mooncats since day one. They care about people. Uh, Harp Gear Amplifiers. Thank you guys so much. Thank you all. Thank you. Everybody subscribe below. I do this every single Friday, right? And then I put out videos throughout the week sometimes if I got time. I look forward to seeing you every single Friday. And I'm glad I came out here in the car and made a video. I appreciate you guys. Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays. Kwanzaa. All that Hanukkah stuff. Everything. Whatever you're into. I support you. <laughs> all right. Take it easy, y'all. I'll see you soon. Bye.